So welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to be doing another AutoCAD tutorial here and we're going to be looking at visualizations, uh, doing motion paths and uh, then rendering them out so that we can use them in a, a full uh, full video with our visualizations attached. So let's jump straight on in. I've got a part loaded up, uh, ready to go and uh, we're just going to create the motion path and do the visualization. So I've got my part here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a motion path for it. So I'm just going to scroll around to on top of the actual part, and I'm just going to use a uh, an ellipse for my path. And this is the path that the camera will follow. So I'm just going to stretch out my uh, my ellipse. And then when I look on the um, on the, the sort of southwest isometric view, you'll notice that uh, it's relatively high. I'm, I'm going to put it a little bit higher. Um, I've been I practiced this one before I did it, so I do know that actually I need to move uh, this object up or this uh, path up a little bit. So the camera's looking slightly down on it. Once I've done that, I can then switch over to my visualization pane. And um, you may find that your animations uh, panel is not there. Uh, if it isn't, just right click, uh, show panels, and then activate the animations um, panel. Uh, once you've done that, this panel should come up. Um, and then we just need to use the animation motion path. So I'm going to. Select the animation path. This box will appear. Um, first off, we're going to create our camera path. So we're going to link it, link the camera to this path by selecting the little bit of green box on the right hand side. We'll select the ellipse that we're going to move the camera around. And then we want the camera to stay focused and looking at a particular point. Um, we've just got this box that come up, so we just have to click OK for our path name. We'll just call it Path 1. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to select the point at which we need to look at. And uh, we're going to select the green box again. And we're just going to find a rough midpoint that we can use. And we're going to keep the camera looking at as it rotates around the ellipse. Um, I've got frame rate 30, 30 frames, number of frames 240, uh, durations about 8 seconds. You can change this. Um, I just forgot to say that you need to select uh, your point name that crops up, so just click OK. Um, you can choose your visual style depending on if you've got already got uh, materials attached to it or you just want to look at it as conceptual uh, either way um, it works I'm going to select realistic because I do have some uh, materials associated with this part uh, you might find that it's set on a lower resolution so I've up mine to 1024 by 768 um, I'm going to keep with a WMV file but you depending on what software you're using uh, that might you might be able to edit this together. Uh, you could choose any one, but I'll use WMV. Um, you can preview it, and uh, you'll get your preview window. I'll just replay that. Now I can see straight away that um, my ellipse is far too close to my object, so I will cancel the uh, motion path animation, and then I'm just going to go and I'm going to adjust my ellipse to be a bit longer and a bit wider. Maybe I'll zoom out a little bit. So back to my animation motion path. Um, I'm going to select, reselect my path. Path name is keep it as path one. The point is still connected, but I'll just doubly check that it is 
connected to there. Click OK for the point name part point two. These are all still OK down the right hand side. Preview that. And there we have our animation preview. Happy with that. So then can go ahead and I'll click OK. And then my save as window will come up. Um, and I can save it as whatever I want. Uh, I'll just keep it WMV1. Click save. And then it will then go through its rendering process. Depending on the, again, the speed of your laptop or computer will depend on how fast this process goes. Um, it's quite a lot to render, so don't expect it to be too quick. And there we have it. A, uh, your motion your animation motion path and associated render uh, it will be in your saved folder so wherever you put that save path to and you can go and open it up and then you can use it with your other visualizations uh, to create a, a a sort of video show reel of your uh, your components and parts um, you have to do that in a in a sort of secondary piece of software there's loads of free ones out there, or if you have available, you know, things like Premiere, you can cut and paste them into there. Uh, so thank you for watching this tutorial, and uh, hope to see you again soon.